Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. So what we have here is a right triangle that's flipped upside down. And what I want to direct your attention to is um, the bottom side here, which is the longest side, is the hypotenuse. Now I'm going to assume that you have some basic information you know about the parts of a right triangle. Um, these sides here are the legs. And we flipped it upside down because what we really want to do is find the altitude. Okay, I'm going to try to draw as straight of a line as I can there. All right, so the question, first of all, is how long is that altitude if it really is a right triangle? And I do know a little bit of information about the legs. Okay, I know that this is going to be six six centimeters let's say and this is 2.5 okay so again what I've got is a right triangle and from the right angle I draw a straight line down making a perpendicular line okay and I've now split the hypotenuse into two parts one is 6 one is 2.5 okay so here's the question I'm gonna call the altitude X I want to know how tall the altitude of that triangle has to be. And then once I know that, I need to know what the short leg of that right triangle is. We'll call that Y. And the longer leg, which we'll call Z. Now when you study right triangles in geometry, what you need to know and remember is that we use the geometric mean to help us figure out some of these missing parts. Now the geometric mean is what we put into a proportion, okay? Let's say we want to find the altitude, which we are calling x. If it's the geometric mean of something, then we're going to put it in diagonally opposite places, okay? I usually go lower left, upper right, as long as they're opposite each other diagonally. Now, um, there's a theorem in geometry that says for a right triangle, when you draw the altitude and you split the hypotenuse into two other parts, what happens between those parts is that one part of the hypotenuse, 6, and the other part of the hypotenuse, 2.5, the altitude becomes the geometric mean between those two parts. Okay, let me say that again. The altitude is the geometric mean between the two parts of the hypotenuse that are created. Now when you um, solve this proportion, you're going to cross multiply, which is x times x and 6 times 2.5 which is 15 okay now obviously what we want to do is take the square root of each side so square root of x squared and square root of 15 okay square root of x squared of course would be x and the square root of 15 if you check that on your calculator is 3.87298 let's call it 3.9 all right, so we've used the geometric mean to write a proportion and solve. Now we know that from the top of the right angle down to the bottom straight, as long as it's a perpendicular line here to the hypotenuse, it's got to be almost 4. We'll call it 3.9. All right, now we can keep going with this idea and use the geometric mean as a proportion to solve for y. Okay, now let's look at the diagram. Y happens to be the short leg. Now, it might be the long leg with some triangles, but in this example, it looks like Y would be our shorter leg. And the idea and the concept due to some geometric theorems is that the short leg, Y, is actually the geometric mean between the near part of the hypotenuse. Okay, what that means is if y is over on this part of the triangle, I look straight down and the nearest part of the hypotenuse that's created by drawing the altitude. So that would be 2.5 in this case. It's the geometric mean between the near part and the entire hypotenuse. Okay, So that's a theorem that we need to know in our geometry studies. One, let me say it one more time. The leg of the 
um, original right triangle is the geometric mean between the near part or the adjacent part of the hypotenuse and the entire hypotenuse. So let's solve this. We're going to cross multiply and get y squared and then we have to do 2.5 times 8.5 which is 21.25 alright and if you have your calculator and you're with me you know that you have to take the square root of both sides okay it's going to be 4.6097 so let's call it 4.6 alright so in order to have a right angle up here and the hypotenuse split into those two parts y would have to be 4.6 and the final part of this is figuring out z, which is the other leg of the triangle. So it so happens that we use the same formula as the previous problem. And the z leg is the geometric mean between the near part of the hypotenuse, which in this case would be the 6, compared to the entire hypotenuse. Okay, one more time. The leg of the right triangle is the geometric mean between the near part or adjacent part of the hypotenuse and the entire hypotenuse. So, cross multiply, z squared equals 51. Okay, you're gonna, cro or you're gonna grab your calculator, find the square root of 51, and z then would be 7.141428 and so on, let's call it 7.1, okay? 7.1. All right, so this example and this lesson was all about using the geometric mean to find parts of a right triangle. Hope that made sense to you. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.